some shrimp, medium or large size, you're gonna need about a pound. Then you're gonna need some minced garlic. You're gonna need three cloves, some parsley, tables one tablespoon. And then you're gonna need some chopped tomatoes, however many you like. They recommend about a cup. And then you're gonna need chicken broth, one fourth cup. Need some penne noodles, all purpose flour. Um, pepper and salt to taste. You're gonna need three tablespoons of butter. You're gonna need some, you're gonna need three fourths cup of milk, whatever kind of milk you want. You're gonna need some mozzarella cheese. And then you're gonna need some Parmesan cheese. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in the pot, you're gonna boil water and then cook the penne according to the directions on the package. And then you're gonna drain the penne, and we've already done that. So the next step is to uh, melt one tablespoon of butter over medium heat in a large skillet. So we're gonna start doing that. Step is to add the garlic and the parsley. And they say to use more parsley, but I only use about one tablespoon. They say to use three. I don't like that strong of a taste, so it's really all up to your liking. And then you're gonna put in the shrimp. Uh, so it says about two minutes per side. Step is just to remove the shrimp, but you want to make sure you leave the juice in there. remaining two tablespoons of butter. Add the flour and kind of make it golden, whisk until golden it says. Already kind of how it's supposed to be. Okay. So then it says to add the chicken broth and milk and let that come to a simmer. just kind of stir this until you think it kind of all kind of blends you don't really want the flour and garlic and butter to be chunky so stir in the mozzarella and the parmesan kind of make like a creamy 
dressing for the tonight. doesn't really take too long and really simple and it's not too expensive expensive except for the shrimp says to garnish with extra um, Parmesan and mozzarella cheese and to put it in the oven for a few minutes but um, this isn't an oven proof skillet so we're gonna have to transfer it into an oven proof dish so once you feel like it's stirred enough you can do it how you want or you could skip this part but uh you know it kind of adds a little bit of extra flavor to the meal so 